One of Brian's superpowers uh, as a leader is finding really good people and bringing them together. His other one is that he just though, keeps going. Uh, he, he, he won't stop until he can't keep going anymore. He'll keep going until he can't go anymore. And just the team cohesion that we have. I've been part of a lot of different teams and this is, this is really special. Um, it's really special to have this much camaraderie and shared vision and dedication and, uh, and fun in one place. It's going! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow! Hey, yeah, I got a tweet! <laughs> First commercial Wi-Fi in space! Yay! So we just won this, probably the biggest project of my life, which is we were selected, Solstar was selected by a, you know, one of the largest aerospace companies in the world to provide uh, Wi-Fi inside of the Lunar Gateway Space Station, which is a space station that NASA and the Europeans and Canadians and Japanese and some other partners are building now to be launched in just a few years to orbit, orbit the moon and will basically be a, a station, a way station for astronauts when they're coming. They'll launch from Earth, they'll head to the space station first and dock, hotel I guess you could say, before they, then they, you know, then they go down to the lunar surface from, from the hotel, the gateway, the lunar gateway space station. So, Solstar is building the very first space rated Wi-Fi access point which is like hardware that you, maybe you have in your, in your home office or your home. You, you have this, this, this hardware that you, that you use to provide Wi-Fi for inside your house or your office or a restaurant or wherever. And so that doesn't exist currently to do this inside of a space station or outside of a space station. Try doing that in space. teams coming together, we've expanded the team a lot to where we have a lot more people and we work great as a team. We were just in Santa Fe this week for a summit, a Soul Star su Summit, and brought our people in who are all over the United States and in Europe and had this great summit. So we talked about where we are now and what we just accomplished and what we're getting ready to do. And then the next steps after that are that once we, you know, as we are establishing ourselves as the go-to company to provide Wi-Fi for people and things in space, then once you become the company that has done that in the space industry, flight heritage is really important in terms of credibility, which means that you've done it in space already. So that's about the only time you're gonna get hired by anybody. So, so we've done that and we're getting ready to do it again. And then we'll put the same equipment on private space stations or, um, other government space stations, satellites, 
tourist vehicles, spacecraft with tourists. If you give people on Earth the ability to connect to other people and things in space using their smartphones or laptops, you'll unleash creativity like you've never seen before. If I was a tourist and I'm going up to the, to the to a space station and we had our wi our Soul Star equipment was on board, then I'd, I'd log in. I'd be looking for Wi-Fi as soon as I get in the space station, right? As soon as I come out of the the, the spacecraft that just brought me up to the space station, everybody's going out. The tourists and they're going to be like, "Okay, they have Wi-Fi up here. They have Wi-Fi." So then you go find the hot, the Soul Star hotspot basically on your phone, and then you're connected to the internet. Challenges. <laughs> so Solstar is, is helping to build the space wide web and we're connecting that space wide web to the to the world wide web and perfect like we're I got the pioneers it. I'm a drummer and so uh, first of all, we, you know, it's good to play the drums just to get your mind off of, of whatever's going on, the stress of running a company. Um, so that's good, first of all, is to, is to continue to play the arts. And because your mind's thinking about other things, basically, and, that, and that's good to free up your mind so then you can be more fresh when, to run the company and so forth. If you work for Soulstar, you do have a chance to fly into space. So let's just take a take account here. Who, who would like to fly to space if they had the opportunity? Me and another one too hard on you. <laughs> Christina. But I also think there's quite a few similarities in terms of running a company as a CEO and and running a band. I guess you could say, right? We have colleagues in the band, your colleagues are your bandmates, and then in a company, your colleagues are obviously the people on your team. So um, when I play the drums, you do have to listen, you have to always listen to everything that's around you. You're working with other musicians and they're doing different things. And as a drummer, you have to constantly be aware of what everybody else is doing. And if somebody's if the song requires to, to play softer, then you play softer. And there's, if there's a crescendo, then you're, you know, leading the band into a huge crescendo. So I guess you could apply that to projects, the projects that were, these really cool projects that Soulstar works on, right? Putting Wi-Fi in space or in a space station. So. Um, <clears throat> It's the, uh, it's the mother of all multitasking, playing the drums. And then as a CEO, like it or not, you're going to have to multitask, right? So some tasks you, or you, can, you can manage in parallel, some stop a little bit later down the line in the song or whatever, you know, things change as well. And you have to react to it and there, things are dynamic. We've had a lot of practice, our team, since we did Wi-Fi in Space in 2018. And one of my best definitions of luck is preparedness meets opportunity. If you provide people an internet connection to space, we're going to see applications we could never dream of.